then in that case oh my god hello internet my name is blitz and we are back playing prom dreams um we're gonna go around and check some stuff out it should be oh geez what is it day two right this is a new session for me so we're just gonna go around and check before the day ends make sure nothing new has happened and we'll see how much time is left after that all right hello oh things are a bit different already here all right, Worker B, since the gym's going to be out of commission for the next few days, I decided that your workout routine should be replaced by some good old-fashioned manual labor. <laughs> the one person decided. Okay, I think this is the same as last time. Little school spirit. Oh, hello. Oh, Kyle! I almost didn't see you there. You need something? Maggie? Last I saw, she was heading out the back door near the dumpsters. She was pretty mad she couldn't use the gym to practice in today. This is right after. Should I talk to her? I don't think I should. I'm not gonna. Not okay. Not okay with me. Uh. Uh. Can I- uh, hello? Are, are you not gonna do any- do you not see that, Kyle? What? And no matter how hard I try, I can just never get them to seem their best. It's a disgrace to the art form. <laughs> nom nom, I don't know. Larry, are you even listening to me? If these little cretins don't get their act together, concert will be- Oh. Don't worry, Mike, I hear you loud and clear. And if you ask me, I think you need to get that stick out of your ass and cut those poor kids some slack. I mean, of course they're not going to do well when they got a stuck-up perfectionist screaming at them all the time. What do you expect? It's true, though. Why, you... I put my heart and soul into these productions. And because of it, I've sent students on to Juilliard and Broadway. Ooh, so good. Well, then maybe you need to find something else to base your sense of self-worth on and quit projecting onto a bunch of high schoolers. You're even worse than my brother. Jeez. Wow. Wow, they're really going at that. At it. Maybe I should just back off for now. Okay. Oh, what? Were these here last time? The printouts have fallen to the floor beneath the printer. Uh oh, binary. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Where's my phone? Maybe it will translate it for me later, but I got to know now. Heartbreaker. Awesome. It says heartbreaker. Cool. Now let's see if I just wasted my effort and if it will tell me what it says. The heck is this supposed to be? Binary? I was told this girl over here is important. Oh! Jeez, you scared me! Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, you're, uh, Kyle, right? The new kid? Yeah. Um, yeah? Why do you ask? Well, um... Oh, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Uh, you don't happen to know Dan, would you? No. You mean Dan J Janowski? Blonde hair, deaf, talks with his phone? Yeah, I know him. We're in a few classes together. Really? You do? Then in that case- Oh my god! Help me ask him to prom, please! Whoa, jeez, not so loud, will you? Uh, I mean, why do you need me to help you? Can't you just ask him yourself? You don't understand. I can't just walk up and ask him. I may be in special ed, but I'm not stupid. Everyone laugh at me for trying to go out with a guy like Dan. That's why- that's why you need to really impress him. I need to show him how hard I'm willing to work to be with him. I'm gonna, gonna learn sign language. I'm gonna use it to ask him to prom. That's sweet! Oh, uh, sounds like a great idea. Yeah, sure! I know, isn't it? If I can learn s to sign, there's no way he'll think I'm stupid. My problem is this, I can't find a sign language study book around anywhere. I asked Mrs. Princeton if we had one in the library, but she said it was already checked out. You have to help me find that book, Kyle. It's my only chance to ever be with Dan. Please. 
Sorry, not interested. Sure? I don't even know where to begin looking for that book, though. Really? Yes, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, to start, go ask Mrs. Princeton who checked out the book. Maybe they'd let you borrow it? Or maybe not. But you can at least try, right? For true love's sake. Sure. Wow, this girl's got some gutso. But, uh, gusto, whatever. <laughs> but hey, it won't hurt to lend her a hand, though I still don't know why I have to be the one to do all this. Okay, off I go then, I guess. Let me finish looking around here first, though. It's different music! It's beautiful. La boca, la lengua, la dientes. Damn it, I can't fill my Spanish final like I did my midterm. I'll look up what that means later. Reminded for American Lit students, Edgar Allan Poe quiz this Friday. How did you- how do you get the decent score? Quote the teacher, study more. That's cute! Oh, gosh. Okay, library. Here we go. Mrs. Darvish, Miss Darvish, whichever. In all my years of being a librarian, I learned your kids to. Yeah, I know. Start keeping this hung up the back. If you see any books that are floating around campus. Um, if we're gonna find the sign language book, I should probably start by asking Mrs. Princeton about it. Ask her about the book? Yes. Okay. Yes, a book on sign language? Oh, you must mean the Beginner's Guide to ASL. Well, yes, we do carry it, but it's already been checked out, right? Checked out and overdue, I'm afraid. To be honest, I haven't seen that book in weeks. It's inexcusable how irresponsible some people are. I agree. I agree. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, you remember who checked it out to? How you checked it out to, right? Of course. With the amount of books that go missing here, I have to keep track of those sort of things. Now, let's see. Ah, yes, it was Mr. Cruz. I believe he said he was experimenting with using sign language for next spring's concert. If you're looking for it anyway, would you terribly mind getting it from him yourself? I'm in the middle of alphabetizing the books you see. Uh, yeah, sure. And don't worry, Mrs. Princeton. I'll make sure it gets back to you at some point. Oh, you're such a gentleman, Kyle. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank me, thank you. Yeah. Might be harder than I thought it'd be. I've never had him, but I heard how he yells at the choir kids. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll catch him in a good mood. Oh. I'm beginning to think that's not a thing that's gonna be happening. <laughs> now, I last saw him in the teacher's lounge just now, but maybe the quest has forced him to go back to the choir room. He's still in there. Ooh, I opened the door. Hello? Ugh, what do you want? Don't you know you kids aren't allowed in here? Oh, for Pete's sake, Mike, it won't kill you to be friendly to your students every once in a while. Would you at least let him tell you what he needs before chewing him out? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle, I'm not exactly in the best of moods, you see. Uh, of course. What is it that you need? Well, you see, ask him about the book. Ow! Oh, yes. Gotta help the girl, okay? That's that's who I am. I help people out. I'm a good person. I deserve good things. Speaking of guys to ASL, come to think of it, I did borrow that from the library some time ago. But I gave it to Mrs. Orts to use with her special need kids when I was through with it. So if it's not back in the library now, it's her issue, not mine. Oh my god. You know, when the rest of us check out books, we usually have to be the ones to bring them back, too. Oh, piss off, Larry. No one asked you. Oh, my goodness. So, anyway, I would ask Mrs. Orts about it. Now, if you'll excuse us, Kyle. Okay, then. Just my luck. Who wants to bet I'll be running around the whole damn school looking for this stupid book? In any case, I should leave before these two get into it again. Alrighty, then. Hello! Eh, hi. I'm book period program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I know. Special needs. Yep, yep. You know it's gonna be really ironic if that book was in here the whole time. Yeah, ask her about the book, please. Hi. The book. 
The book, the book, the blue book, please. Oh, the sign language guide. I had completely forgotten about that. You see, I was just about to return it to the library when Dr. As Ackerman, of course, asked to borrow it. I think she was trying to build a rapport with a deaf family or something. Rapport, I don't know. Or something of the sort. <sighs> don't tell me you don't have it either, do you? I'm so sorry, Kyle. I overheard your conversation with Ariel, and I wish I could be more helpful. But you'll just have to ask, do talk to Dr. Ackerman about it. I'm sure she'll be happy to lend it to you, too. Dr. Ackerman, uh, this run around is really starting to piss me off. Still, I told Ariel I'd help her, so I can't back out now. Guess my next stop is Dr. Ackerman's office. Alrighty then. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye, Internet. Mm -hmm.